Hi, I'm Katie. If you saw my recent home tour, you know I love to discover vintage finds for my colorful home. Here's how I find hidden gems all over Los Angeles and beyond and some of my favorite finds of all time. This vintage Nova of California double arc lamp is actually my favorite vintage find in my whole home. I was able to score it for 300 bucks on Facebook Marketplace and it inspired me to change up my entire room and really sparked my love of postmodern pieces. First of all, go often. If you're going to find an amazing score, you can't expect to do it if you go like once a week. You need to go several times a week and try to go on off days, not on the busiest times during the weekend. Find out when your local stores restock and that's the best day to go. I got this from the PCC flea market for only 50 bucks as well, which for a vintage marble statue is an insane steal. It's so beautiful and so well made. And it even inspired one of my new wallpapers from my new capsule collection. Make sure to get there early. You definitely wanna be one of the early birds to get the good things. There are lots of swap meets and flea markets in Los Angeles and the vendors are typically willing to bargain. So definitely try your luck. This really cool wavy squiggle glass side table I scored on Facebook Marketplace for $125. I actually kind of had to stalk the guy because he wasn't responding and I was so obsessed with it and I knew I was gonna to have to fight off a bunch of other people for it which I did, but I persisted. I wrote him for three days straight. Finally, he wrote me back and I went and picked this up in Malibu and it was definitely worth it. If you're looking for a specific piece and a larger piece like furniture, make sure to always carry a tape measure with you. I always have a small handheld tape measure in my bag and it definitely comes in handy. So this is my super cute pocket tape measure. I actually thrifted this. I mean, come on. How cute is this? I was so lucky to score this amazing vintage large round shelf on Facebook Marketplace for only 50 bucks. I did drive for it. I drove almost an hour to get it, but I jumped on it quickly. I fought off a ton of other people that wanted it. It's vintage 80s, potentially early 90s, and I just absolutely love it. It goes with my postmodern theme and displays some of my favorite treasures. Super excited when I found these super rare 70s mushroom lamps by Sal Design on Facebook Marketplace, I was able to score them for 250 bucks. So much of my home has come from Facebook Marketplace. If you find something you love, it's definitely worth the drive. This one may seem really obvious, but look up. When you go into a thrift store, a lot of people miss out on really cool lighting and artwork just simply because they're laser focused on what's right in front of them. So make sure to look up. And if you love something, buy it. You do not want to miss out on it and it may not be there tomorrow. Another suggestion that I have when I go into a thrift store is I do a scan on my phone with a video and look back through because sometimes I see things in the video that I missed with an eyeball scan. So that's a helpful tip. Next, I'm gonna show you one of the best scores that I've ever gotten. I got this for $10 from a thrift store in Florida. It's a Richard Burkett clock. I love the Memphis style. It's so quirky and weird. When I went to go buy it, it was so funny. The guy at the cash register was like, do you want that? And I was like, ooh, you don't know what you have. Yes, I do. I was like, that's such a cool piece. Trust your instincts is my other good advice too. Don't worry about what's trendy and what's popular. Worry about what you love and what draws you to the piece. If you're really drawn to it, just go for it. I've based an entire space off of a vintage find before. And you wanna really look for the quality of the piece too. Pick it up, touch it, inspect it for any damages. Make sure to look at labels on pieces, look for signatures, look for markings, pick it up and really study it. If you're not familiar with it, just touch it and get a feel for it, the fabric, the quality of it. See if it feels heavy, if it feels like a quality object, what are the materials that it's made out of. You can also take a picture and reverse image it on Google search on Google Lens and you can try to pull up that piece and see if you can find out if you're getting a really good deal or not. So I also scored this Paul Bellardo sculpture for Austin Productions. It's made in 1980 and it's two-faced, which is so cool. I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $35. You would be surprised at how many amazing and affordable art pieces you can find in a thrift store and curate an entire gallery wall out of them. I've done that so many times. Uh, you can get a variety of sizes and shapes. Make sure that you have your spacing correct and then put it up on your wall. I was also able to score this amazing David Fisher for Austin Productions 1985 sculpture 
for $35 on Facebook Marketplace. I also like to shop for sculptures, for studio pottery, vases, lamps, coffee table books, uh, clothing. Don't miss out on the jewelry too. You can find some amazing deals on antique gold and also on costume jewelry, some designer pieces. You can find some really good scores. If you fall in love with something, especially clothing, and it's not the right size, get it tailored. I actually did that recently with the jacket that I found. I fell in love with it. It was way too big and the shoulders came out way too far. And getting it tailored was still cheaper than buying a brand new piece. And then you have something that fits you perfectly and is one of a kind. When you see an item, think about how you can repurpose it. Maybe you can paint it. Maybe you can change the hardware. I spray painted the shelf in my kitchen. I also got creative. I bought a brass ice bucket and I use it as a planner. So sometimes you can find really good deals on items that you can repurpose in your home. I hope that these tips were helpful and I hope that they encourage you to start looking for vintage finds of your own.